Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar has succumbed to another round of bearishness. However, I feel there is a potential bullish breakout very close towards this 64 1890 level and if so should see the market rebound back towards that 60 day moving average seen around 65.80 to 66 cents. Following that the market is anticipated to extend further to on towards 67 cents. Moving on to the euro the market is also a little bit weaker as the US dollar index which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies ended flat at 104.28 as the market now adopts to a wait-and-see approach as they closely monitor the U.S. Federal Reserve's policy decision, especially considering the up-and-coming important inflation data set to be released later this week. Along with that, we also get the U.S. GDP figures. These updates are crucial, particularly as the U.S. market will be closed for the Good Friday holiday. This attention comes after the Fed's March meeting last week, despite recent reports indicating inflation remains elevated. But the Fed seems to anticipate the continuation of the longer term cooling trend and therefore many are seeing a potential rate cut in June with some considering the possibility of such action as of next week's meeting. Looking at the support area for the euro, I feel 107.70 may stage another bounce like previously seen and look back towards 108.55 to around 109 to 110 as a potential target. Overall, I feel that the US dollar should weaken and look back to the lower side range around 102 to 103. The dollar yen is still teasing or flirting around this top side level, which is seen as an intervention level by the Bank of Japan. Although there's been no confirmation to this, we have seen in the past the market plummeting from this region. So let's see, we've overbought indicators, an overheated trend may see higher risk coming back into the market. And therefore, traders should continue to reevaluate their positions at key levels and adapt their strategies accordingly to their risk management, as high volatility could see a significant downturn and look towards 149 to 148.5 area. Sterling also a little bit weaker as the market now looks back towards 125.5, but like recently seen, we could see another round of demand and therefore lifting the market towards 127 to 128. A relatively volatile session in gold after the market stabbed to that upside and then found itself flat in the New York session. With the indicators buckled, I feel the market has staged a failed upside attempt and may be poised for another down test towards 2142 to 48. In light of the upside foulness, and along with that with the bearish spinning top pattern, could see further weakness. But overall, the confined range is still likely to be around 2,142 to 48 to 2,200. Wrapping up with oil, the gains were given back overnight. And now finding somewhat a negative pattern coming through here, which could see the market test that bottom side of the range around 79, 80, 90 a barrel. But overall, I'm not going to get bearish as of yet, as we could see another balance and look back towards our top side objective recently challenged at $83 a barrel. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.